Mars is the fourth rocky planet out from our Sun, has an orbital path between the Earth and Jupiter. Mars has approximately ten times the mass of our Moon, but just one tenth the mass of Earth. So we're kind of halfway stage between the two. So what is it about Mars that makes space agencies so interested in it? Well, since there are only four rocky planets in our inner solar system, it means that other than the various moons, there are only three planets other than our own that we can easily land on and explore the surface of. Out of these three, Mercury has a massive temperature range, from well over 400 degrees centigrade to under minus 150 degrees centigrade, making any possible exploration virtually impossible. Venus has a thick atmosphere which produces a crushing pressure at the surface, which when combined with the surface temperature of over 400 degrees centigrade again makes exploration of the surface extremely complex. This leaves the comparatively benign surface of Mars. Now while Mercury, Venus and Earth all have fairly similar densities, Mars is considerably less dense. And while Mars does have a considerable amount of iron, nickel and sulphur in the core, has substantially more silicon and oxygen in the outer crust, with iron oxide giving the surface of Mars its distinctive red colour. Mars no longer has a molten core, which in turn means that it doesn't produce a magnetic field to protect the surface from solar radiation. This lack of a magnetic field, combined with a fairly thin Mainly carbon dioxide atmosphere means a lot of the Sun's energy makes it to the surface of Mars. However, due to Mars's distance from the Sun, there's less energy from the Sun that reaches out that far. This results in the temperature of Mars being generally well below freezing. But depending upon the precise location in the season, some parts near the equator can have similar temperatures to those on Earth. The thin atmosphere the changes of temperature on the surface can lead to extremely strong winds, pick up dust from the surface and create long-lasting and extensive dust storms. In orbit around Mars are two moons, the larger Phobos which orbits very close to the surface of Mars and the smaller Demios orbiting further out. However, the relatively small size of these moons means that they're probably just captured asteroids. It's likely that Phobos will be destroyed in a few million years. The poles on Mars remain up well below freezing all year round, so they're covered in extensive polar ice caps. However, while some of this ice is water ice, the proportion is also frozen carbon dioxide. These polar ice caps, however, are of great interest to space agencies. Two main aspects to this interest. The first of these is in setting up some kind of habitation. By building a structure which is either constructed from ice or built under the ice, habitation can be protected both from the changes in Martian weather as well as from excessive solar radiation. Second interest in ice focuses on the water ice. Water is of course made from hydrogen and oxygen. These elements can be separated and then the hydrogen and oxygen can be used to create rocket fuel to launch a rocket from the surface of Mars. Now whilst it's possible to create rocket fuel on Mars, it is of course far easier to create it on Earth. So why would people be interested in creating rocket fuel on Mars? Well, the reasoning behind this is down to the fact that Mars is a much smaller mass than Earth. This smaller mass means that far less rocket fuel is needed to get a spacecraft into Mars orbit the surface of Mars and is required to get the spacecraft into Earth orbit from the surface of Earth. This in turn means a spacecraft in Mars orbit can carry a far larger payload than one launched into Earth orbit. This payload could be more people, more equipment or more fuel or even a combination of these. It would mean that potentially Mars could be an ideal launching point for deep space missions the additional fuel meaning that far faster speeds could be reached, dramatically shortening the length of time needed for deep space missions. Alternatively, Mars could be used as a refueling station for missions launched from Earth, with ships getting a massive fuel injection at Mars before continuing on with their mission. The interest in Mars is a combination of what is possible and the advantages 
to further exploration of our solar system.